afternoon. Well, that's a big room. Nirao, everyone. Um, we are going to spend the next 15 minutes sharing with you uh, an example, the story of companies who are reinventing products that have been around for many, many years. Because the question when you innovate is not only to create new products that don't exist, but it's also about reinventing entirely products that have been around for many, many years. Companies who want to reinvent their products these days think about three key major topics. Many of you in this room, some of our customers, some of uh, our partners, have been adopting the 3D Experience platform in the last 24 months to do this kind of product. Because it's not about products anymore, as we saw a few minutes ago, it's about connected experience. The connectivity of the, of the device brings the level of intelligence that consumers are asking for and the type of experience that people are searching for. The second big trend is to move from dumb devices who just do what has been defined initially in an engineering team to move to products who are contextually adding value-added content and services. And this is a degree of engineering, a sophistication of engineering that more and more companies have to keep up with. The third trend is to ship a product, which has been the trend for 15, 20 years, to delivering continuously and improving continuously the content, the software, the services that are made available with this product. So keep in mind that these three big trends, connected, contextual, and continuous experience, are really at the core of what we are talking about here. To realize that, companies who are delivering and producing smart appliances have decided to onboard and embark on the 3D experience platform because they want to connect the world of virtual and the world of real and create a virtual circle that connects these two universes continuously. So I'm going to illustrate that in the next few minutes with an example of a smart uh, appliance. And we are going to go through three phases. The phase of engineering, the phase of invention, the phase of using the product, and the phase of improving this product, moving from the left to the right, from virtual to real, all of that being made possible with the 3D Experience platform. So we are going to look at, uh, at the video. The first part of the story is really uh, the one that we are going to follow in a few seconds. Or like now will be a good time. So initially, a designer on the go, on a tablet, is going to connect and start to uh, immerse himself in a world of innovation. This is where he's going to have all the initial concepts, all the initial ideas. And here, he's on a, on a tablet, sketching with Katia, on Katia Natural Sketch, and he's connected in the platform already. So he's an industrial designer, but when he arrives at his office, the first thing he does is to work very, very closely with a mechanical engineer. So both of them are physically in the same room, working collaboratively <coughs> on Katia, connected in the 3D experience platform. But pretty quickly, the industrial designer and the mechanical designer decide to connect to the people in charge of the marketing, in charge of the product positioning, in charge of the product management. So at that point, they, as you see here on the screen, they connect through the cloud because the 3D experience platform works on-premise and in the cloud. They connect with other people who are on the other side of the globe and collaboratively, all of them together are going to be able to converge on initial concepts. So here, they are selecting material, trims, color, shapes, and they can very, very, very quickly see what the industrial designer meant what the mechanical engineer wants to do, and all the disciplines are coming together and very quickly can get a sense of what the final product could be even before 
entering into the details of engineering. So now they go into the detailed engineering. They go in again in CATIA, mechanical system design, and here all the parts, all the assemblies, all the sub assemblies are connected all together to run for the first time a virtual run, a virtual prototype of this end to end uh, product. But here we're just looking at the mechanical part. Why? Because we want to check the vibration system. So here they are in CATIA again, but in CATIA system, where they are going to define a model based system that will allow all the disciplines to understand how the product is going to work. In this case, they want to create the circuit board that is going to give the team the possibility of running very quickly a full run of this washing machine and check if the electric board that we just created is delivering what is expected. Can we control the motion? Can we control the vibration? Yes or no? And this is exactly what we are simulating here. So once again, you have a full functional system, a mechanical system, but we also want to check physical elements. So here we are using Simulia to test the deformation of the plastic ring around the window to check that every single component of this product is going to work with the other ones in perfect harmony. But we talked about connected products. So, so far this machine is not connected. So the engineering team decides to add, as you see here, a Wi-Fi connectivity module that they are going to describe functionally and logically in the platform, thus allowing the people who are creating this product to test virtually that all the data that they want to extract from this machine will be pumped onto the network. So here we have defined functionally and logically this little communication module. We want to extract from the parameters of this system just the data that we need. In this case, the engineer has decided to extract, as you see on the bottom left corner, the vibration data in red, the velocity in light blue of the drum, and the heat, the temperature of the water within the machine. What you see here on the screen is quite unique. We are the only one in the market to do this possibility of combining in the same platform the behavioral model, the system model of a product, and the physical simulation. But we want to go even further. More and more these platforms are IoT platforms, are connected to the cloud. So here we picked one cloud, that's a cloud from uh, Microsoft. It could be a cloud from Azure or anyone else. And here what the engineering team does they are testing that all the data that we extracted from the circuit board, from the communication module, can be simulated on an IoT platform. So here we are in the cloud of Azure, but we have connected side by side the 3D experience platform with a full intelligent model-based system model with the data analytics coming from, from a platform like Azure. And here again, you see that the vibration, velocity, and temperature are doing exactly what we expect them to do. So that first part is concluding the phase of engineering, which is really the one we wanted to qualify. But you see that at this stage, we are still completely virtual. Everything, the end-to-end -end experience of communication has been tested virtually. So now we want to move in the world of using this product. And actually, a lot of different people are going to touch this product. You will have, sorry, you will have, and this is a second video that we are going to look at uh, in a few seconds, you will have different people. You will have people who are doing the installation and maintenance. So if we can launch the second demo. So you will have people who do the maintenance, installation, repair, who will go on site at your home to install and, and uh, do some technical interventions. But the people who are on the go, they will carry with them a tablet because the 3D experience platform is also mobile. It's a native cloud platform, but it's also a mobile platform that allows not only the engineers, but also people who need to have engineering data in their hands very easily to have access to this kind of information. So I don't have all the detailed information from the engineering team, but the engineering teams have been able to generate automatically a configured documentation 
that allows this kind of scenario where you combine animation coming from the 3D world, but you can also, as you see here, combine augmented reality or virtual reality. So here you see a flat representation that could be displayed on a tablet, but it could be done also on a headset mounted display for virtual reality or augmented reality. Then we go into the world of the call center, people who are supporting you on the phone when you call them and when you have an issue. So what we show here is quite unique too. We created this dashboard where we aggregate all the information that the technician needs to have to provide you a great support experience. So what this person has under his eyes is a possibility of checking everything about this very specific machine. You have the location, you have the history of usage, you have all the metrics. You see that on the right side, the blue and the green boxes are all the sequences of events that happen with this very specific machine. And in a matter of few seconds, the person on the phone can spot the problem and understand exactly what is the context of usage of this product. But if the person needs more information, and compare and contrast with other products in the same country or in the neighborhood or in the same class of product, you see that we provide with a 3D experience platform with the analytics from Exalid, this kind of very, very advanced uh, comparison of data, analytics of the situations, blending data from the engineering world, data from the CRM world, data from the ERP world, coming together in the 3D experience platform to help you take informed, contextual decisions. Last but not least, we go into the world of the consumer. All of these objects are really interesting, but the problem is sometimes they are hard to control. We believe at Dassault System that you need to put people in control of their Internet of uh, Things objects. And here you see an example of NetVibes, with this brand new product that we just released a few weeks ago called Dashboard of Things, where an end user is programming very simply, just by clicking and answering three questions, a logical behavior between the weather and the washing machine. So for example, here he says, if outside weather is good, then you don't need to launch the drying cycle of the washing machine, but if it rains, then you can wash uh, you can launch the drying cycle. You see that we have been able to connect in the platform public data coming from the web and a physical object and create a strong link that any user can create on its own very simply. And that's quite powerful. Now I'm going to conclude with a marketer. I'm the guy in charge of this product. I'm working in the marketing department and I want to know everything about the product that I'm responsible for. I want to know what the press is saying. I want to have the news coming from the web at large from the competition. I want to hear about the voice of my customers, and this is what you will see in a few seconds on the bottom left corner. You see that these pink little bars give you an indication of what is the buzz and what are the trends on social networks. You see in the middle data coming from the engineering team and coming from the IoT platform we saw before that show you what people are using, what are the programs that they are using, and you have all of this telemetry, all of these metrics contextually blended together in a 360-degree dashboard that helps you as a marketer to take very good decisions because you can connect not only to the engineering data, the marketing data, the social network data, and very simply, take decisions alone, if you are in your own office alone, but also across the world with all your colleagues, because once again, this platform is available and accessible anywhere. With all of these insights, with all of this information, then the marketing team, the engineering team, the, engineering, the system engineering team, the simulation, the manufacturing folks can get all together and decide how they want to improve and how they want to perfect the experience for their customers. If you are interested to know more, we have outside of this room some additional demonstrations of that. And I really encourage you to uh, reach out to us. Many of you in this room, we recognize faces from uh, customers and partners here 
who are already doing that in China. So connect with us, and we will share that uh, more in details. And for those of you who want to explore that a little bit further, you can go online on compassmag.3ds.com, where the last issue of our uh, corporate magazine, corporate brochure, uh, gives you a special uh, update on what we mean by Internet of Experience and what we do on Internet of Experience. And I'm looking at the countdown, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Have a wonderful afternoon and see you around. <laughs>